Good morning, it's BBC T, 22 minutes past 8 o'clock. The region has a new queen. Rebecca Ridsdale from Middlesbrough has seen off all the competition. She's been crying 2015's Miss Tees Valley. Well, we've sent our very own Miss BBC Tees and future Hall of Fame inductee Amy Oak tonight to meet her. Morning, Amy. <laughs> Morning, Lisa. I tell you, I pale into significance compared to this young lady that stood here with me because this morning I'm here with the Miss Tees Valley 2015, better known to her family and friends, as you said there, as Rebecca Ridsdale this morning. Now, hello, Rebecca. You all right? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm not too bad. A bit chilly, isn't it? You're freezing, it is. I'm stood here and I look like, you know when you get that corn beef skin where you look a bit corn beefy and Rebecca's just stood here like, like she's just been shone down on like a beam of light. She looks amazing. Um, first of all, uh, obviously, you are uh, Miss Tees Valley, aren't you now? Um, you won. How does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing. I don't even think, like, the amazing experience is still sunk in. I still, I sleep every day. I think I sleep with my crown on my head. I just, I, I can't get away from it. I, I look at it every day. But it's just amazing to actually finally put all my hard work into a full final award and now I'm able to like show everybody all the confidence that I've been able to build, build up from these amazing journeys that I've been to able to take part in. Well you beat 17 other ladies in the competition on Saturday night at the Swan Hotel in Billingham and one of them, you know there's different parts isn't there to beauty pageants and one of them was um, a eco wear round. Now just tell me what is this and what did you actually wear? Well it was an incredible round and I know that, and, I, and I'm just, honestly every person in that pageant had put hours of effort if not weeks of effort into that dress um, it all it contained us picking up recycled items and putting them into a dress and it was just unbelievable I mean I remember being sat there with my with my mum and looking at a pile of crisp packets a pile of zero bar wrappers and thinking where do we start what do we put on what do where do we go from here but there was other so many girls that used trails they had fishtails and um, flowers made out of magazines and um, they had um, bottle tops all over and it was one of the most fun like fun amazing catwalks I've ever done and everybody looked incredible everyone was to their own and everyone's personality shone from every every dress everyone had made it does sound like the most interesting category that I'm going to say so obviously you've won what does this mean now do you go on to do more or is this enough for you um well I, I then compete now in um teen miss teen world supermodel that is on the 16th of January then next year around about the same time I'll England, um, which is just thrilling. I can't wait to even compete in any of those. So now it's going back to looking for gowns and everything, but I'll continuously um, take part in events where if people like me to like turn up at appearances, I'll go and do that. Um, I'll also model for the Cleveland Centre, um, which is just an, an opportunity that I would have never had before. And I also still study in, um, in university, so I'm still doing both of them. Um, I study diagnostic radiography, so it's just a bit of both, but the pageant still does. That pageant world still hasn't finished yet. <laughs> And obviously the night as well raised money for charity. It was Butterwick Hospice, over £19,000. That's amazing, isn't it? Are you going to continue to raise for them? Yeah, it was an amazing, amazing amount that all the girls took part in taking. And yeah, of course, yeah, it's still going to raise um, money for Butterwick and see how much we can still raise for them as well. And a couple of thank yous you wanted to do dead quick. Oh, yeah, um, I'd like to thank Tony and Jill Williams from the, um, the public house in Normby, the Tiger, who are brother and sister, for being my sponsors. Um, the dress works for helping me pick my, out my amazing gown. And everybody who helped me raise money for Butterwick all the way throughout and the continuous support and all dolled up in Norby for doing my hair and makeup on the night. And that's brilliant. And Lisa, I've got to say well done to Rebecca because she thoroughly deserves it. But also many congratulations as well to the runner-up 19-year-old Nicole Hinchley from Normanby and also to Abby Ray, who's 17 from Middlesbrough, who came third. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Amy Oakton, our very own Miss BBC Tees.